So this is my shop page that I created using the Google Sites. I just used one of these three um, on a page. There's a four on a page or a two on a page. I went for three, but you could choose whichever one you liked. And when it creates the layout for us, it automatically gives us the option to add a heading or a title and it also gives us the option to add a bit of a description down here so I've um, on this page added three different ways that you can add something to your shopping cart so you can see that there are different ways of doing this so if I preview this you can see that I have a basic hyperlink have a button created by Google Sites and I have a button that is just an image that I've um, dropped in and then added a, a link to. This one was just from Google Images but you could of course create your own if you wanted to. So how do we get these buttons to work for us? So the first thing we need to do is go back to Roman Cart and once we've logged in, we choose Manage and then Products. And that will take us to this page here. We find the product we want. In my case, it's Daisies and Poppies because that's the thing I'm... In fact, let's do this one. Spring to Life. Okay, so look for Spring to Life or that's Product 4. So we click Product 4. We click on Show Code. And then we get several options now, okay? This first one is if we've created a form or we want to create just a form button. We don't want that one. We don't want to create a, a hyperlink because we've already got some text. So there's a little bit of extra that we don't need in there. We can just grab this one here, which is a basic URL. So copy that, go back to here. I've just typed in here, add to shopping cart. And then like any other hyperlink, you just highlight it, insert link, paste it in and apply it. And then you can see it's gone blue, it's underlined. And now it's a link to my shopping cart. So if I preview that and scroll down, you can see if I click here now, takes me to my shopping cart okay so it's doing what it's supposed to do so that's the first way it's pretty straightforward it's quite easy it looks a bit rubbish um, just basic hyperlink on some text nice way of doing it is to use one of these uh, buttons that Google Sites provides for us so if I click on insert and then find button it wants a name, so something nice and simple, add to car, add to basket, something like that. And the link, it's exactly the same way that we just did it from Roman car a moment ago. So it's still on the clipboard, so I can paste that in. Okay, and it creates me a button down here. And all I have to do is just move it to get it in the right place. And again, if I preview this, you can see, uh, once I scroll down, that if I click the Add to Cart button, it drops it in the cart. Okay, so that's a basic hyperlink. That's a, a more interesting, perhaps tidier uh, looking button. There's one more thing that you can do with these buttons, and that is if you click the button, um, you get an option here to have it filled or outlined so if you prefer it just a kind of white color rather than filled in then you can do that the uh, other option is um, to just have text but it kind of defeats the object of a button I think um, so I personally prefer you know the, the, the kind of outline or the filled in button it looks more like a button uh, and this last method is literally just a case of inserting an image so 
all we have to do is click insert. We find images, we upload. So find uh, an image that you have uh, already downloaded and saved. And then it will drop that in here for you. You get the option to uh, resize and so on. And then to add the link, it's the same as it was before. And then that becomes uh, a hyperlink. And then all you have to do at this point is, is just drop it again wherever you want it to appear. And again, if I just preview it, you will see add to cart. Okay, so that's three different ways of adding cart buttons.